Hi everyone, I'm Rodney. I'm here with Board Game Geek, and I'm also here with Hunter from Panasaurus How's Games. It going? And Hunter, you brought Dead Man's Cabal. Yes, yes. Dead Man is having a cabal. Tell us about that. So, uh, Dead Man's Cabal is a game by Daniel Newman. It's developed by John Gilmore, uh, Jonathan Gilmore. Excuse me, his professional name. Yeah, very <laughs> so, professional. Uh, it is a. There's a lot going on here, but it's actually a pretty streamlined game where is you're this trying. This Daniel's to, first design because I know that he's, name. He's done one other game. I know yeah. that's been, that's been published, but this is kind of going to be. I, I feel like this is going to be his year. He's got quite Mario a few. Game? I feel like there's a lot of different right. games coming out there in the works. This is, we just happened to get there first with the big one. Okay. This, is, this is his first big box game though, so uh, he's taken a lot of interesting components and, and mechanics and made it into this like hour, hour and a half style Euro game. And it's really, really unique theme. Uh, so what you do is you're, what you're trying to do, you're necromancers and you're trying to right. uh, bring people to your party because as a necromancer, <laughs> no one likes you. So uh, okay. you're, you're trying to attract them to your to, to Like your everyone's got a party. Exactly. Even necromancers. Exactly. And, okay. and why, why try to make friends when you can literally make friends? So, I'm on board. Okay. So what you, yeah. you got these uh, cards that you have here. These are your party goers. What you're trying to do is uh, score them and the way you do that is by making uh, connections essentially on this, this sanctum board you'll you'll need certain amounts of different colored skulls so like I, for this one I need to s somehow coordinate three white and a black oh, to make okay, that okay. happen yeah yep. uh, and the cool thing is you're doing you're messing with that board but everyone else is also messing with the board so you're gonna be comboing off of them a little bit and to do that to put skulls out here uh, you can essentially you're gonna be basing it on your the skulls that you've drawn from this bag the okay. skull bag everything's skull and bones it's like <laughs> lots of skulls and lots of bones uh, so it, it, you'll you'll have a the guests amount. are basically down to their their bones I can see too yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> okay. so we have four different colors of skulls and say you'd have a couple from previous turns. Right. On your turn, you would first draw a skull, mm -hmm. and you decide where you, this isn't necessarily the skull you're going to get. You're going to take your you're going to you're going to kind of put it into your supply yes. and take a skull. So whenever you get a skull, you're putting a skull back. Gotcha. Taking it over here, put it in the ossuary. So this also where it's kind of like, it's not its own action. It, it's not like a special action. It's just the beginning of turn. That's what you're going to do. Uh, you'll slide it into one of these rows here. So when you uh, when you put it in that row, the row kind of shifts down and you're going to get whatever action is on that skull. So there's okay. a white action, a black action, a red action, and a yellow action. Right. And those are going to correspond with these different boards. That's why yeah, they're okay. color coded. Right. So let's say I do uh, this one. So I'd, I'd put it here. This whole row would kind of shift down. And okay. this black uh, skull comes off, and that means I get to take the black action for the turn, right? Which is sanctum, so that means I'm going to be able to. And everything is kind of iconography here, so you'll be able to. E e you put a skull down, you can uh, and get a, and get a bone, which bones are kind of like currency. You'll spend on other boards to do stuff, right. buy skulls, things like that. Uh, so let's say I wanted to make. And the idea is you're trying to create this pattern on exactly. Here, right? As long okay. as you're tr you can connect the pattern. So like, yeah. say I have this black skull I want to put down on here, and this guy I want to maybe build towards, so I have I can put a black skull there, and eventually Eventually, I might be able to get the white skulls connected to it, and the idea is just to it's still trace lines. Is exactly. That the idea? Yeah, exactly. You just need to be able to trace the lines through them. They just have to be direct lines. So, bam, 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 you'd be able to connect that eventually and score this person. And when you score them, you'll just take one of the skulls off. So you can kind of disrupt other people's patterns right. by scoring that. Uh, but that's the the basic gist of the game. The cool thing comes with these actions. So, like placing the skull, taking that whatever color the action is. Uh, when you take those different actions, you'll be able to do different stuff. So, like placing skulls here will get you the bone currency. Also, right. kind of how you're winning the game by yeah. making those patterns. You can buy more skulls over here if there's just not the colors coming up that you want. You can buy them for different amounts of those bones that you're getting. Okay. Uh, you can get more party goers with the gold action over here at the uh, at Thinium. We use yes. some fun names for those. I see that. Yeah. Uh, the art style is really unique and it's got the, a lot of stuff that throwbacks to different uh, eras. Right. Uh, of people, I, we got a uh, definitely a definitely not John Candy look right, like, yeah. uh, I, but I I, uh, I really like the style that we used on this one. But you can do different uh, different amounts of party goers to add to your hand. Uh, there's a really cool thing over here. These are called uh, uh, runes, and you'll notice on the bottom of your party goers that they each have different runes on them. Yes, uh, that is not not something you have to do, but it's a cool bonus because if you if you actually get those runes and kind of cash them in when you when you attract the party goer, you'll be able to put your cubes over here on these in-game scoring options. So like okay. you get extra points for having a lot of red skulls on your party goers. You get extra points for having black skulls, for having sets of skulls. So it's another another way to score. Yeah. So kind of like a lot of different ways to score, a lot of cool actions to do. But every turn, everyone's going to be engaged because after you've taken your action for the turn, you'll look at this row here and whatever the majority color is here, 
everyone gets to take that action. On this sec second Yeah, that right little here. row there. Okay. So since, gotcha. since there's two white skulls, yeah. everyone will take the white action. Oh, okay. It's, so you're not waiting for your whole turn to come exactly. around again. You're going to be able to do something. Okay. There'll be a little bit of thinking going on, yeah. and then, then everyone gets to do their the white action, which in this case would be the scriptorium. So they'll be able okay. to get a new gotcha. room to add. So uh, it's, there's a lot of stuff going on, but it moves really quickly, and it's got a really, really cool theme. So. And, and how long does this game typically, typically take? About an hour, an hour and a half. Okay. Uh, we actually have a few streams online of uh, John Gilmore playing it live with uh, Ian Moss and some other uh, some Okay, other so folks, people can so. watch it being played through. From absolutely, start to finish yeah, if they absolutely. Want to. Okay, and and when is this going to be available? Uh, that will be an Origins release, so June. Okay, excellent. Well, Hunter, thank you very much for giving us an overview of Dead Man's Cabal. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed.